He was zealous for Jesus. That means he had a, a tenacity about him. You know, when I was a football player, you know, after practice, uh, we'd have these little get-togethers, and I came up with the word tenacity. And the word tenacity simply means that you will not quit, that you will not give up. You'll be tenacious. And that's exactly how John was. He wasn't giving up. He was tenacious. He was zealous. And so when John would not renounce, Domitian said, I have have something prepared for you. You're going to die. So he... He gets a bunch of, gets like a big, big old tub of boiling oil. And he puts John in the boiling oil. You know, John was boiled in oil. But you know, they put John in that boiling oil. And he says, you know what? He says, like Daniel, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, even though you put me in a fire, my God can deliver me. I will not be afraid. In the moment of the fire, in the moment of the testing. And so he was placed in that boiling oil. The fire was cackling. It got hot. Amen, brother. It did get hot. Um, as a matter of fact, it got so hot that some of the soldiers, the Roman soldiers, couldn't stand the heat. But you know, John just had a smile on his face. And John was not hurt. John lived. And Domitian says, well, if I can't kill him, I'll send him to Patmos. And there he can meet his demise. So while John was on Patmos after he was boiled in oil and he survived and he was delivered, It was on one afternoon in Patmos that he was having a good time in the Lord. He was serving his God and he was having a good time. He was preaching the gospel. One night, one day, he was having a Lordy day. I mean, he was excited about his God and his Savior. And he was called up into heaven in verse 10 of Revelation chapter 1. On the Lord's day, And he heard a voice like a trumpet. And it was Jesus. And there he received the revelation of Jesus Christ, which would become the book of Revelation. Really the message of Revelation is Jesus Christ and all of his glory coming back. He came in on a donkey to be executed on a cross but when he comes back he'll be coming back on a white stallion and we'll be coming back with him he's got a court he's got a stable he's got all these horses with your names on it and one day we will ride we'll ride from heaven down to earth and we will rule and reign with him for 1,000 years and there will be peace And the lion will lay down with the lamb. The adder shall not bite the child. It will be a heaven on earth. And we will be with Jesus. That was the message. We don't have to worry about the tribulation if we are truly his. We don't have to worry about the Antichrist and the false prophet. Those that don't know him, however, if you do not know Jesus, then you will have to worry about it. Because there's coming a time when the Lord's going to sound on that trumpet and he's going to come back for his church. If you're not ready, you're going to be left behind. 